sneaking us back for another one tonight. Yeah, another one. Whoa. On a roll again. On a roll, yeah. I love the end of terms, great. So tonight, by request, <clears throat> this is Open Suze, or Open Suza, Leap 42.3. Now, Leap is the version that's like, it's a, more of a stable version of Open Suze, okay? So that's released once a year and you get updates, etc. Tumbleweed, on the other hand, is the cutting edge version. Now, I've been using Tumbleweed for a little while, just for my own use, really, for a little while, on and off. And I rather like it, actually. It's really, really nice to use. It really is. But somebody requested, can you have do Leap for me? He said, um, I've just retired, and I really want to install OpenSUSE Leap on this system. So I thought, I'll boot it up for you. I was going to do a full install. But this time I didn't, for the simple reason I've had another hard drive fail. That's two in three months, so I've ordered two more new ones for tomorrow. Oh, hopefully they will last more than 18 months this time. Anyway, back to the Sousa. Okay, this comes with KDE Desktop, or you can have GNOME if you want to. I think there are derivatives. And there's also Gecko Linux as well. I don't know if you've seen that. I think I've done a video on it before, I can't remember. I think I have. Which is Sousa Base 2. So anyway, KDE Desktop. Nice, sprightly, looks okay, lovely jubbly. Did I say it's in the box? Yeah, it's in the box, by the way, this one, because I ain't got enough drives left until tomorrow now. So, usual KDE stuff, okay? Notifications down here, time. If I click on show on hidden icons, you can see notifications, battery and brightness, software updates, printers, KDE Connect. That's for your, for your phone, that one? I can't remember. Notifier and clipboard. So if I click on the software updates, we're going to check for updates and see what's going down. Refreshing our software list while it's doing it. I'll have a bit of a drinkage. I'll give it 8 gig of uh, RAM, by the way, on this one. Just because I can. Hmm. Oh, I only updated this about an hour ago. And there's two more already. Oh, it's gone. Come back. So I want to install them updates while we're waiting. As there's only two updates, I ain't too worried about doing this. So it's Pam and blah, 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 blah. Quite a few libs. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So anyway desktop is nice and clean. Now, as some people have stated before, the RAM uses of KDE has come right down over time. And if I go down to here on my menu, and we go to System, it's quite... it's too quick. I've still got my gaming mouse on, by the way. So everything's a bit fast, okay? Now, bearing in mind, I'm just installing them updates at the moment. I'm only giving it four cores. I'll give it eight gig of RAM, basically. Of course, it's going to go through the roof at the moment because it's installing stuff. But generally, I mean, memory uses at the moment is only half a gig. Now, that's pretty good. I remember f a little while ago, only a couple of years ago, if you run it in the box, it would actually run with over a gig of RAM. And it was near enough impossible. And even on a fully installed system, it was a pain up the posterior. Oh, that's updated already. Super duper. And so, as you can see, my RAM uses has gone... Uh, sorry, my CPU use has gone straight down. Even here, I'm only using 1%. So that's pretty good. Still using half a gig of RAM. So nice. So what do you get with a base install? And this is not the live CD or DVD, by the way. This is actually installed in the box. So you get your recent apps that I've opened. So I've opened Yast and stuff like that. LibreOffice Impress, just so it works. Development, you get translation, some QT stuff, which you always get. Science, you get KDE Marble. Yeah, I won't open that one for you. You get basic board games, card games, and logic games. So if I open to K Patience, and you'll see what it looks like. Bearing in mind on real hardware, this will be quicker, okay? I'll just tell you that now. So that's the basic patience card game. So if I click on here, it gives me some cards, and I've lost. Okay, so we'll close that down. Next on the agenda is graphics. Right, you get quite, so you do get quite a big... Remember that the download is quite large as well, but you get everything on the disk, okay, to install your stuff. And there was about 172 packages I had to update. So Digicam is here, GIMP, Gwenview, Hugging Batch Processor, Hugging Calibrate Lens, Panorama Creator... LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, show my photo and scan light. So the simple scan, of course. Aggregate to Firefox, is under internet. Kmail, there we go, go down to Ks again. Kmail, Knet Attach, Conversation, Copet, oh, there's a P there, PIM, and Civ Editor. Under Multimedia, I've not installed anything here, by the way, because this is a request, somebody just wanted to see how it runs. It's Amrock as your basic player. Seems okay to me. AMZ Download, I opened this earlier. Now, is this to download Amazon files? Let me know, somebody. I'd like to know, because I might want to use it. Because I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I'll get all the music, if you know what I mean. Dragon Player for playing. I'm not really fond of Dragon Player. Remember, you can download VLC if you want to. K3B for burning. Fantastic. Still the best on the market. And KSCD. 
under office, as I said before, the full liberal office suite, but you also get K address book, K mail again, contact, K organizer. K, K, K. Oh no. Under settings, it's your ICT panel settings and stuff like that. Manager printers, QT4 settings, system settings, and YAST. Shall I open YAST? Might as well worry, so I put my password in. There we go. This is not going to be a long video, by the way. This is going to be a short video, okay? It's just so somebody can see what it looks like at the end of the day, I suppose. I don't, know, I don't know him from Adam, or Eve, or Fred, even. Okay, so we'll go to ooh, hardware information. Yeah, okay, might as well give that a try. So it does its stuff. Now this is a bit I've done a video before about it. It's about probing the hardware. Takes. Yeah, I remember when I did the video. Now it wasn't that long ago. My memory is terrible. Must be the holiday. So you get the same stuff you do in tumbleweed, but this is a bit more stable. Now, I will say this will not install, Leap, by the way, will not install on my Intel 5960X with the GTI 970 card. It's just that bloody card. Oh, I nearly swore. Did you see that? I'll move that up for you. So basically, it tells you all about it. CPU, open it up. As you can see, I'm using four cores of my Icon machine. Okay. Whatever. Whatever, they say. And all your stuff is here, you can see. Also here you can do your software management and your repositories. You can add and remove repositories as you go. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Okay. What else we got? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Under system. Arc. Dolphin for your file managing. I'll open it up for you so you can have a quick look what it looks like. See, it's still quite snappy as it is. But you really, really do need to do a full install on it, really. I've still got 10 gig free. So that's why. I can live with that. Okay. Not much else to show you down here, really. It's all. It just all works, to be honest with you. Things have come on from 10, 11, 12 years ago. Things just work, basically. There's not much that doesn't work. You install a Linux distro now. Cleopatra coming at you. Okay. Spectacle Sweeper. This is all in utilities. Get your calculator, of course. I'll open the calculator up. I don't normally, but hey, there it is. Okay. It's a calculator. Okay, let's open up the browser. I'll have a bit of drinkage while we're waiting, because it will take a while, because we're in the virtual machine. Okay. Hmm. And I don't tend to edit these bits. Some um, YouTubers actually edit the video and then do it over, over to the top. I used to do that when I had a single core machine back in the day, like 10 years ago. Because that was the only way I could do it. So, get software. Where do you get OpenSUSE from? Or OpenSUSE? How would you like to say it? Tumbleweed here. Leap here. So, if you're going to get Leap, we click on Leap. DVD and USB stick. 4.7 gig. But you do get everything you really need to start on there. Yeah, I know. There's also an ARM version, by the way. I, I might try that one day. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's just all terminal, though. But if you don't want to download the 4.7 gig, just get a network installer, and you can configure it as you go. Or go to SUSE Studio and make your own. Can we still do that, SUSE Studio? Let's, just, let's have a look. Do -do -do, do -do -do. It might not be called that anymore. Oh, no. Seems to be still there. And basically, this is a way... To actually make your own SUSE distro, okay? And I'd done it before, years ago. And I forgot my login now, so I can't actually go any further. I'll tell you what, what I'll do, I'll um, try and dig that out. And I might do a video on that as well. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? So you can make your own if you want to. And then you can have any desktop you wanted to as well. So XFC, LXD, whatever. I'm not sure if you get Budgie or anything like that. You should be able to get Cinnamon now. I don't see why not. And the usual KD stuff, if you want to configure your desktop, you can click here after a right click. You can change your wallpapers or get new wallpapers. Everything is configurable here. That's all I'm going to say about it. So for the guy that asked for this, there it is. That's the basics you get once you're installed and updated. After that, it's entirely up to you what you install. But most stuff is av available. Any players available, etc, etc, etc. And it will be stable, especially Leap. Okay. If you want to try your luck, I would say go and get Tumbleweed because I think it is better. But that's my personal opinion. It's nice. Sneaky Linux out. I see those. Bye bye.